Hey crypto fam, it's your boy Jojo with another crypto update on the Craig Wright lawsuit against the core Bitcoin developers guys. Before we get started, please hit that notification bell so you get all my crypto updates. I really try to keep you guys laced up on all the crypto news. Anyways, let's jump right into it. Self-proclaimed Satoshi Nakamoto Craig Wright has been in court battle for the last three weeks against Crypto Open Patent Alliance, also known as COPA guys, to prove that he is in fact the creator of Bitcoin, Satoshi Nakamoto. However, this trial has revealed some odd things about Mr. Wright. Last week, Craig Wright and his legal team offered a settlement agreement with some stipulations attached. COPA immediately denied any settlement, stating that they were tired of Wright's fraudulent lawsuits, gag orders, and simply being a huge headache in the crypto community. They stated that they will finally prove that Craig has been lying this whole time about being Satoshi. This week, Craig's sister took the stand and informed the courts why she believed her brother was in fact Satoshi Nakamoto. She stated that she saw Wright in the park dressed as a ninja when he was 18 or 19 years old. A tale she says explains why she connected the dots in the first place. She added that she once saw Wright around 2007 or 2008 in a room full of computers and he explained he was working on something important. Don't quote me on this guys, but I believe Craig Wright was diagnosed with Asperger's back then. I believe they don't use that diagnosis anymore and it's now called autism. If that diagnosis is true, this would explain some of Craig's behaviors. Wright claims that he has been working on five PhD degrees, yet apparently does not know the very basics of coding. During a cross-examination by Alexander Gunning, KC, asking about PGP keys and cryptography, Wright was asked about unsigned in integers. Apparently, Mr. Wright had no idea what were unsigned integers when it comes to coding, guys, which was shocking because unsigned integers function was used over 500 times in the original Bitcoin source code. I mean, if he was Satoshi, wouldn't he have known this since it was his protocol he created? Just doesn't make any sense. Here's a quote from Copa's legal team. If you're not a programmer, perhaps you don't appreciate what a basic thing this is. An average first semester computer science student should be able to explain this. The judge with his computer science background certainly can. This is like having someone who says they're a mathematician not being able to explain what multiplication is. This trial is supposed to conclude in mid-March, guys. It doesn't look good for Craig Wright. I'll continue to keep you guys updated as the trial moves along. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit the thumbs up and sub to the channel. I really appreciate all the support. Until next time, guys.